Okay, uh, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen on YouTube. This is uh, Jedi Guy, uh, here with a lightsaber update as you can tell by the title of this video. This is my own custom designed lightsaber. Uh, it's still not done. Uh, I still have to add leather wrap around to replace these grips. Um, I got an internal chassis that I gotta replace with an added crystal chamber. Um, and even after that, it's still not done. I gotta add an amethyst crystal from my hometown so I can take my home wherever I go. Uh, and I gotta add two strands of leather over here with beads symbolizing sections of my life. At the end of one of the strands is a wolf claw to symbolize my spirit animal. The other one uh, is a claw that fell off uh, my cat a few weeks ago. Uh, that cat has been there for me more than most humans, so I don't want to lose him, and I want to take him wherever I go. Uh, the shroud, uh, the required, the hole was required for the buttons to be pressed here. Uh, I cut out this little kind of um, hourglass style uh, hole to show off the choke point to give myself more grip because it's it's difficult to wield otherwise. Uh, the emitter shroud bit uh, is Graflex in uh, inspired with the kind of S shape um, with some added wolf claws to make it my own custom design. Um, I, I was also a fan of some of the online designs who had this kind of angled, pointed shroud cover. Shroud cover. Um, but yeah, this lightsaber is sporting a tri-free LED. Um, Royal blue, deep red, and green. Uh, people criticize me for, for picking deep red instead of the normal red, but I've never really been a fan of the normal red because it gives off a kind of orangey color in person, and people say that it, it doesn't show up really all that differently on camera, but I'm not doing it for camera. When I see the lightsaber, I want to look at it and go, whoa, that looks awesome, and the orangey red doesn't really do it for me. Um, the prism comes standard with uh, six sound fonts. Uh, and 13 color presets, so I can change the color by pressing these two buttons. Uh, auxiliary followed immediately by the main button, and that will change the color. Uh, the problem that I had with the 13 colors is that there were too many that I, I didn't need or really liked, and I had to skip through them anyway. Uh, so using my knowledge of how the, the configuration file works and the override file, uh, I was able to edit them so that I only had like six or seven colors, uh, only the ones that I really, really liked. Uh, all of them have white flash on flash, um, so there's that. I have six sound fonts. Uh, let's see which one I'm going to go for first. Rogue by uh, Madcap. Uh, this, this sound font, when I saw it, it, it captured my attention, and unfortunately I still don't have a bass speaker, so it's not going to be as loud, so I apologize, but I have this in royal blue. Um, my favorite part about uh, the, the prism is the pulse feature that adds to the flickering. It's it's an amazing feature, and the Nano Biscotti version 3 didn't have that. I hear that the version 4 has the same feature, so kudos to Plector for doing that. Uh, let's see what we have next. Weapon of the Jedi Knight. This one is uh, for my dad, so I'm gonna tag him in this video so he gets to see this one uh, to bring him back to the classics. Don't be the classic. So I hope Dad enjoyed that one. Uh, let's see what we have next. Return of the Jedi, Luke Skywalker. Uh, I'm also going to tag my dad in it for this one. Uh, what do we have? 
up next. Tag in Josh in this one so he gets to see it. Uh, pay close attention though, because the color won't show up after it's lit up. The color shows up on my camera as it's ignited, but then it goes to kind of white because the camera is dumb, but it looks beautiful in person. So, uh, yeah, this is for Josh. And I'll throw uh, uh, Adele in there because this is her favorite color. I stand corrected. So this is Temple Guard from the Clone Wars animated television show. I didn't add a flickering or a pulse effect because in their in the TV show their blades are static. So I added that just for added effect. Um, Alright, what do we got next? Then you will die. Rogue One Vader. This is the deep red. Gorgeous in person. Just absolutely beautiful. And this is uh, Next Tour by Lord Blaco. Uh, this is a crystal alignment. This is a different lightsaber crystal that is no longer canon since Disney took over. And I, I have it because it, it's a kind of deep resonance uh, sound font, so I went with purple. I forgot to show off uh, one feature, but I'll, I'll do that on Rogue in a second. I wanted to show you guys the color changing feature, so you press the auxiliary, followed by the momentary. So We have white, royal blue, uh, kind of uh, an arctic blue, the original lightsaber color from uh, A New Hope. Uh, green. We got yellow, deep red, and then back to purple. Now normally there would be variations of the lighter blue, the yellow, orange, and uh, I even had pink at one point in time, but I don't really use those colors, so I took them out. Um, now let's go to Rogue. So this has... All of the sound fonts have a specific feature called force effects. Uh, when you trigger a swing and click the, the auxiliary switch, uh, at the same time, it triggers uh, a force effect. Uh, for Rogue, it's, it's my favorite uh, force effect, where you're kind of uh, pushing something off a building or tipping something really heavy over and it hits the ground. So you got to listen carefully to it, though. It's just... Or on the off chance you didn't hear that, I'll just... So yeah, um... I've never really been a fan of the high-pitched sound fonts, the kind of... I've been a fan of the, the deep... kind of sound fonts, because they're... When you activate those kind of sound fonts, if they're really loud, um, they, they command respect within the room. And that's, uh, those are the kind of sound fonts I prefer, like this one. So yeah, this, that's, uh, my lightsaber at present. I've got leather wrap, 
um, around the sides and a crystal chamber that I'm going to add to it, plus the two leather strands. But other than that, this is done. Um, I am naming it the Wolf's Fang. Uh, and I got, I forgot, that there was one sound font that I wanted to show off, uh, that I wanted to tag, uh, Cat, Cat D in. So, I uh, hope she enjoys the next clip. Okay, so here's that second part of the video that I promised. Um, this uh, clip is going out to uh, Cat D uh, on my YouTube channel, and uh, a subscriber that uh, uh, or so uh, somebody that I have subscribed to. Uh, I enjoy her reactions very much. Uh, it's fun to watch uh, the reactions of somebody that uh, shares the same emotion for television shows in the Star Wars universe. So I pers uh, I bought this sound font for the both of them uh, because they're both Ahsoka Tano uh, fans. I can't show you the boot sound, uh, however, here it is. And this force effect is going to Shelby vlogs sometimes, specifically. If you want to finish our fight, you'll have to deal with him first. So yeah, hope uh, everybody enjoys this video. Uh, my lightsaber will be done in just a few weeks. Just waiting for the leather and the chassis, and then it's done. Uh, if you like this video, leave a like uh, down below. Comment down below what your what your lightsaber would look like if you were to build your own from scratch.